Hey, what's going on, Coin Up TV subscribers? Robert Welkner here. Another video, another Shaw Brothers classic review. This time it is the Boxer from Shantung. This is a 1972 Shaw Brothers uh, martial arts action movie, brawler movie, directed by Chang Che. Uh, in this video, I'm going to give my uh, letter grade and some spoilers about the movie. Um, so, you know, tune in, let me know what you think. This was included in the Shaw Scope Volume 1 from Arrow Video, which was, is a great collection and still, you can still buy it and you actually get it discounted. I would say pick this up eventually if you're still on the fence, this one and two, because three is coming out. The hype is real. We're excited for Shaw Scope 3. I feel like sales will probably boom a little bit for Shaw Scopes 1 and 2. So get those if, uh, if you can. So, um, Okay, so this is a movie I've seen multiple times. I'm gonna read kind of the synopsis. I got my notes here on the screen and uh, let's talk, let's discuss. So from IMDb, the synopsis on there says, leaving the poverty of his life in Changtung to seek fortune in Shanghai, the boxer is instead drawn into a world of corruption, gang warfare, and evil, dot, 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 where his only protection is his famed fighting skill. I think that's a great, uh, or, sorry, I mis misspoke there, his famed fighting technique. Technically skill also, yes. I think that's a good synopsis. Uh, whoever wrote that IMDB, I give a praise for that. So The Boxer from Shantung stars Chen Quan Tai uh, with David Chang also in kind of a smaller supporting role, not a big, big role for him in this. This is kind of um, the star vehicle for uh, Chen Quan Tai. Uh, I think um, a lot of us might agree or, or argue that this is like one of the movies that really kind of like, you know, elevated his uh, star status, um, his ability as a, a leading man in, in, a, in the Shaw Brothers uh, factory system there. So uh, here's my note. So uh, Chang's character is a poor wanderer with great fighting skills. Uh, David Chang is established, wealthy martial artist living in town. There's kind of an interesting dynamic uh, between those two characters and, and their storylines. Um, so, so, you know, it's kind of simple. There's some tropes here. Uh, Chang uh, beats up some of the local thugs gain some no notoriety in town and then the uh, gang bosses the mob bosses are like hey that guy has something let's get him on our team and so he kind of befriends the neighborhood bosses he starts getting um enticed by uh fame and fortune and, and women and nice clothes and cars <laughs> This is, this is very, even though this was 1972 and it's like a period piece from, I'm not quite sure what period it's set in, maybe the 40s, 50s. Uh, I feel like it's all still current today um, with uh, how everybody still wants to blow up on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram as influencers. Uh, you know, there's just something appealing with having uh, followers and likes and comments and, and everything. And maybe I'm, you know, uh, susceptible to that myself because I have a YouTube channel. So I wrote down in my, note, my notes here, Greed gets the best of Chen in the end uh, during an all out uh, gang warfare. So there's a lot of betrayals, a lot of like control. The mob basically is like, look, if we can't control you, we gotta, we gotta kill you, we gotta off you. So there's a big giant battle towards the end. Um, there's, there's actually a lot of fighting in this. It's hand-to-hand uh, -hand fighting. It's not uh, a lot of martial arts fighting. It's kind of punching, punching and brawling, a uh, little kicking here and there. Um, th I, I wrote my notes here. Th this movie, for me, I don't know if it's the first movie, but it's notable for having an early um, introduction or early sampling of what we call like the axe gang. Basically like the gang, the bad guys all have like these axes. I don't know if it's the first movie, but it's been used in other movies, um, you know, since. And I'm like, oh, hey, there's the axe gang. So that's kind of cool. Uh, it's very story driven. Uh, there is some fighting and some great fighting scenes, but I would say it's a little more of a character movie and story driven more than like all out action. Although there is a lot of action, especially in the third act where <laughs> there's basically like a hundred villains in this uh, big, um, uh, shop or casino, whatever it is, and they're all fighting, and um, he's uh, fighting for his life, uh, literally, and um, trying to survive. And it's a it's a it's a tragic tale of uh, greed uh, and and wealth and and the allure of greed and power, you know, 
and uh, not being humble, you, you know, that, there, there's the sort of the themes that kind of uh, touches on there. So uh, letter grade, I'm gonna give the boxer from Shang Tang a C plus. I, I have seen this movie many times. It's fun, it's enjoyable. It just, as a package, it doesn't really like make me go, oh my gosh, I can't wait to watch that again. So it's like, it's like average. To me, it's like an, an average it, it, uh, Shaw Brothers movie. It's kind of, you know, down the road, middle of the road. I feel like when this came out, it had probably more weight to it, but as more movies came out kind of in the you know late 70s and 80s, uh, those movies become more favored by me and this would become less favored. So let's talk about the disc a little bit here. Let me open this up. A nice image inside. I'm sure a lot of you are Shaw Brothers collectors already have seen my unboxing of this or other people. So uh, brand new 2K in, uh, restoration. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Uh, interview with the star Chen Kuantai from um, 2007 by Frederick Ambrosian. Uh, interview with um, assistant director John Wu by Frederick also. Uh, interview with David Chang by Frederick Ambrosian. So some back behind the scenes interviews with some of these uh, cast members. Conversation between Chen Kuantai and Ku Feng filmed at the Shaw Brothers reunion in 2007 by Frederick Ambrosian. And we also got some trailers and TV spots and image gallery. So some cool legacy uh, archive stuff there um, packed onto the disc. So lots of fun, we're checking out. So what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below. I look forward to your feedback. And um, as somebody who's a YouTuber and wants to, is enticed by greed and, and likes and favorites and subs and comments, do, do your best for also for this video. So anyway, I'm just messing around. Thanks so much for watching. For CoinAppTV, we will see you next time.